EA Sports Network's NFL Quick Highlights are presented by Limited Gasoline. It's here till it runs out. Lions, Rams. Both sides came into this Week 14 matchup 6-6. Six and six. They're hoping to come away with their seventh victories of the season and will fighting for a wildcard playoff spot. As the Rams took the field first on offense, with the quarterback Austin Davis coming into this one with 1,059 passing yards, five touchdowns, and eight interceptions. And Davis did not look very well to start off, as he went one for three on his first drive for four yards and had a three and out. The Detroit Lions would take the ball very quickly, as Matthew Stafford came to the field for his offense with 922 yards passing, five touchdowns, and two interceptions coming into this one. He would start off very well, finding Calvin Johnson for the first reception of the game for 14 yards for the Lions. Then on third and two a few plays later, the fullback and Brian Leonard would run the ball for 10 yards, getting inside the green zone at the 31-yard line. Then later on in the drive on first and goal, Theo Reddick would cap off the drive by running it into the end zone for a touchdown, but his line's up 7-0 early. A few three now drives later, the Rams would try and finally respond. As Austin Davis on third and seven would pass the ball and feel the pressure, but find Jared Cook for the reception at the 25-yard line, with the third completion at the time. Then on third and 11 on the play action, he would lob it up to Lance Kendricks for the touchdown. To tie things up at seven, it was seven to seven after the one quarter of play. In the second quarter, the Detroit Lions would start off with the ball, and they continue to play very well in offense, as Theo Reddick would run the ball for 10 yards to get up to 46 yards in the game. Aurelia eight rushes at this point. Then on second and five, Matthew Stafford under center would pass the ball once again, feel some pressure, but find his favorite target in Megatron for the nice reception down to the seven yard line for first and goal. Then a couple plays later on third and goal, Stafford would once again, guess who, find Megatron for the touchdown. Megatron's first touchdown reception of the game would make it 14 to seven Lions. The Lions would continue to play very well, but the injury whoop bug would start biting them. As Ebron would catch this pass and get hit hard by TJ McDonald. Down at the 36 yard line, he would return in this one. Then a few plays later, inside the 20 yard line now, Matthew Stafford would have a run play fall apart. He would get a gain of one while trying to run forward, but also get hurt once again this season. He has missed a lot of time. He would have to be replaced on third and 12 by Kellen Moore, the former Boise State quarterback, as he would back up the pass and feel the pressure quickly by Robert Quinn. That would be an incomplete pass and lead to a field goal. Now both of them, of course, return later in this one, but Austin Davis was having a disappearance act on his good play, as he would get picked off by Darius Sway, Slay, I should say. That was the fifth interception of the season, third, I should say, by Slay, and it leads to a field goal, but on the next drive, Davis once again lobs it up and is picked off this time by Ihedebo. As that would go down inside the 50 yard line on a hard hit there by Jones. That would lead to another field goal as the Detroit Lions led in this one in halftime. 23 to seven was the score. They had 137 passing yards and 86 rushing yards compared to just 75 and 10 respectively by the Rams. It was the second straight game the Rams struggled. So they put in a new quarterback in Sean Mannion from Oregon State University as he would start off with his first career completion on his first pass for one, five yards, but looked very inaccurate passing as the rookie ended up throwing three straight incomplete passes after completing that five-yard reception as they would have to punt the ball from the 47-yard line on very bad passes as this was a major risk for the Rams to take. The Lions, meanwhile, were cruising on offense as Stafford would back up to pass on third and six have all the time in the world, but guess what? Janorius Jenkins would pick him off going to Megatron. As that was the fifth interception of the season by Janorius Jenkins there, as that would lead to this. On first and goal, Mannion would struggle as he would get sacked down at the 17 yard line for a big loss coming from the six yard line. Then on third and goal at the 19 yard line now, he would back up to throw again and end up following the ball on the sack by Ezekiel Anza it would be recovered by Trey Mason and lead to a field goal. But meanwhile, they were still trading field goals heading into the fourth, 26-10 was the score. Stafford, meanwhile, still playing very well. He would find the reception of four for the first down at the 24-yard line. 
Of course, he was up to already 20 for 33 passing. Then on second and 10, Stafford would lob it up to his favorite target and Megatron again. His second reception for a touchdown in this one. And the Lions would just run away at this point as Sean Mannion was still struggling. On the second and 16 situation, he would get picked off by Darius Slay. That's his second interception of the game, the fourth on the season, as that would lead to a touchdown. Then Theo Reddick would put in a giant dagger into the Rams as he would run off to the races after the Rams had scored a touchdown and go down all the way to the 14-yard line, up to 130 yards rushing at this point. Then on the first and 10th situation, it goes to Abdullah, the rookie from Nebraska, who rushes it into the end zone for a touchdown. This would end up getting even more ugly though. On third and 12, Manning would back up and would get picked off again, this time by Wilson. And Jared Cook would go down on the play with the dislocated ankle. More on that in a second as the Detroit Lions won this one 50 to 17. Now Jared Cook had a dislocated ankle, of course. He is out for the season. Meanwhile, head coach Fisher might be on the hot seat. 